everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to teach you how to play a really easy song, but a really cool song and a song that maybe you have never heard. Um, this song is called Weak. Uh, the band is called Skunkanasi. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, they were um, a British band uh, back in the 90s that... Uh, just a really cool, cool band, awesome female vocalist, and they just never really kind of really took off over here. It was kind of sad because they were such a good band. Anyway, the uh, song is pretty simple, um, all acoustic, uh, just a few chords. It's extremely repetitive, so there's not really a whole lot um, to it, uh, but it's a fun song to play and a cool song to play along with. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at this. All right, so the first chord we're going to look at is E minor. So the uh, low E is open. I'm on the second fret of the A string with my second finger, second fret of the D string with my third finger, and the G, B, and high E strings are open. Then we have D major. So the D string is open. I'm on the second fret of the G string with my first finger, third fret of the B string with my third finger, and the second fret of the high E with my second finger. We have C major, so uh, I'm on the third fret of the A string with my third finger, second fret of the D string with my second finger. The G string is open. I'm on the first fret of the B string with my first finger, and the high E string is open. Now, them three chords right there make up the majority of the song, so uh, the verse and the chorus. So there's only one other part, and it's the uh, the bridge, and it has um, a couple of more chords in it. So we've got G. So I'm on the third fret of the low E with my second finger, second fret of the A string with my first finger. The D and G strings are open. I'm on the third fret of the uh, B string with my third finger, and the third fret of the high E with my um, uh, fourth finger. And then we have A minor. A string is open. I'm on the second fret of the D string with my second finger, second fret of the G string with my third finger, first fret of the B string with my first finger, and the high E string is open. And then a C, just like we did before, and a D, just like we did before. All right, so, uh, like I said, the, the majority of the song is just those, those first three chords, the E minor, D, and C. So we've got like a little intro. So for the strum on this, I'm going down, 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 up, D, D, and then C. So. so the C kind of rides out the, the majority of that. So the E minor. Like I've said before uh, in all of these previous uh, acoustic lessons that I've been doing lately, uh, that the strum pattern don't get don't get hung up on trying to get, you know, to try to play it exactly the way that I'm doing it. Because as I'm playing this, you'll probably notice that it's it's it varies a little bit. You really want to try to, you know, I've said this, you know, tons and tons of times, but you really want to get that. You know, just get that that rhythm going, just like you know, if you were like playing, you know, countertop drumming to this, you know. So then you know, you're like. Like that. So that's the intro. It's the verse, and it is also the chorus. So, um, the only way to kind of really do, do, uh, make it different, so you like have the intro. And then it goes into the verse, so it's the same thing. So just for the verse, just play a little softer.
that's just kind of how um, they do the same thing. It's, you know, they just change the dynamic a little bit on it. So, you know, check the song out and, um, you know, learn the chords and then just play along with it. It's in standard tuning, so it's really easy to play along with. And since that whole part is repeated so many times, you can really sit there and work and really feel out that, that rhythm for it. Okay, so then the other part uh, that's in it is the bridge, and this is where it has some different chords. So we start off, we got the G, and the way I've got it written on here is just, you know, one, two, three, and four. And then to A minor, one, two, three, and four, C, two, three, and four, D, two, three, and four. But you could also kind of put that swing on it like we had before, so you like that. So it's really easy when you like listen to the song. <clears throat> uh, it's really easy to you know to pick all that out like rhythm and everything and stuff. Now if not, if you're like really a beginner, you can use the you know the tab that I provided and you can play. It. You know it's like very simplistic, but that can kind of help you get going with that whole uh, you know getting you know getting your rhythm felt out and you know really getting the you know the cool kind of swing on there. All right, so um, if you like this lesson, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If there's something that you have a question about it or uh, just any other guitar-related stuff. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any of the content that we upload throughout the week. All right, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.